Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the LSU Tigers and the Tennessee Volunteers. We've got two excellent shooting guards set to go head to head tonight. Number five is the type of player that can shoot the ball without effort from three point land. He's got a beautiful stroke. Starting across for him tonight is a player known for his dead eye shooting, Brad. It should be a good matchup to watch. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. The Volunteers are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. First, play it your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Next, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Finally, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Lawson handles the pass. There was no doubt about that one. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Look at that spacing. Oliveira pump fakes. The power forward receives the pass. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad. You got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. What a high riser! He's the elevator man. Trying to feed the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the high post. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. And in and out. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Fakes a jumper. Now the turnaround jumper. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Oh. They go into the low block. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. Now trying to feed the low block. He makes a nice shot fake. For the bucket. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Oliver rejects it. The point guard handles the feed. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Looking for the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory, like a six-man. Gave it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Listen to that reaction by the crowd. They're loving it. What a response. What enthusiasm. Oh. 
Nice high post screen. The skip pass is picked off. Pushes it up. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Up and inside. Field receives the ball. And the ball goes out of play. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, the jump hook is so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. He keeps his dribble as they reset. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Down inside. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. The ball goes out of bounds. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. There's the trap. Stolen away. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Leans in, and he scores despite the hack. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He attempts the three. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Stolen away. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. For two, perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Jumps in. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. 
Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He tries the three, knocks it down. This is unbelievable. The ceiling in this arena is about to pop right off. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee, baby. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Tennessee is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. High post screen, gonna use it. He shoots from right of the circle. He grabs the board. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Gave it up. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Now they work it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, it's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of shot opportunities. He seems to be making the most of it tonight. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Steals the ball. He fires away, way off target. He puts it in with contact and all. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tennessee are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. post but elected to reverse the ball uh, poor job poor job offensively if I'm coaching he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a deck where's he going Dick they really need to get something going in a hurry here yeah call a timeout and get your boys into the game Brad on the outside Takes the shot. Man, he lured the defender into the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Arm and foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The post flashes up high if he wants it. There's the pick. Up, easy one. Here's the replay. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. The Tigers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Oh. 
double team now, Matt Angle. He comes away with it. And back they come the other way. Count it, and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. You've got that right, Brad. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off. Now work it around the arc. He fires from long range. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. From right in the circle. That was nice. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here's a flash from the post up high. Tries one from three-point land. Goes. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Ern's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Point territory. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? From three-point land. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. Fires it down. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. in the arena are going mad. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee, baby. Look at that spacing. We're going to move it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Tennessee have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Stolen ball. Now the high screen. Fakes it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. about ready to resume. He takes the shot. That's good. Alley-oop. The ball goes. 
goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. He nails the shot. the bucket despite the harm. On the dribble, gives it up, takes away the pass. Fast break opportunity here. He hammers at home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Steals a pass. I can't hear myself think. This arena is deafening. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee, baby. Perfectly executed. The double team. In and out. He takes the board. On the outside. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. From three point range. Off the rim and no good. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. He shoots from the top of the circle. He buries the shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Nice fake. Fakes the shot. He goes with a baby hook. They still don't score. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. There's a double team waiting there. Shoots it. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Right of the circle. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. They're working around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. And he can't hit the shot. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. At the end of the first half, the Volunteers are ahead by 16. Dick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? In my opinion, Mr. Nestler, this trifecta is what set the tone for the offense in the first half. It represents the deep arsenal of threats this team has to offer. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. 
Tennessee showed great presence on the boards in the first half. And you know what really impressed me, Brad? They did it with textbook box out form. They sealed off. We see so many kids that don't box out. Not this team. Dick, two great players now heading into the second half. We watched them through the first half, and they played it pretty dead even. We'll see what happens here in the second half. Well, they're really doing a great job. Both guys getting good shots, really making them count, and really their teammates are getting the ball at the right time. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets the bucket. That's an eight-zip run. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Kicks off the lazy pass. I'm stepping it, man. Take a look right here. A little burst of ball from shorts. A little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. For the bucket. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. In the paint, foul charge. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Dribble gives it up. He pump fakes. He up fakes. For two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Picks off the pass. Buries it. was loose but the offense got it back and the slam <laughs> top of the circle they work it around the perimeter they work it back to the outside he lets it go he can't miss and he should man's feeling it man. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the... That bucket counts, and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there, drawing the foul and finishing the hoop. He'll get one shot. Misses the free one. Boards it. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Stolen away. Gave it up. Intercepted. Dump it inside. Pull up jumper from way out. Way off target. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That's a 7 0 run. is unbelievable. The ceiling in this arena is about to pop right off. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee, baby. 
The Tigers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. The turn of fadeaway jumper. I tell you, he's got every move in the book. What an offensive player. That fadeaway's impossible to block. Picked out of the air. From way outside. The Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Spacing. That's so important to a good offense. He rejects it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. You get balled like I am. Tries for two, and he missed. On the outside, Oliveira is receiving a lot of support from the hometown crowd. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Well, it's basic. In the paint, trying to draw the foul. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. High post flashes for the ball handler. They work the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. It's stolen. Here they go into transition on the inside. Puts it up, looking for contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. circle. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's flopping, baby. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Up and inside. In the paint. For the bucket. Sinks it. He shoots from long range. He gets it to fall. A high screen. And the jam. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Definitely a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. High 
high post flashes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The Volunteers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. He fires it up. Sinks the shot. some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Work it inside and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Braxton receives the pass. Off the rim and no good. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. Hey, as a coach, you really like to see your kids get up and challenge shots like that. A lot of times, a challenge is enough to make the offensive player change their shot in the air. Let's it fly. There was no doubt about that one. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Unloads. You betcha. <laughs> he intercepts it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Stop and pop. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. It's electrifying in here. Jumped in front to take it away. I'd say they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The romp is on, baby. This one's gotten ugly. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The Tigers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. Picked off. They're whistled for a backcourt violation. Those kinds of mistakes kill momentum opportunities. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the difference in scoring jumps out at me. It's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of his shot opportunities, and he's making the most of it. Thanks, Aaron. It sticks. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. You can't forget about them. The winning rumor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Top of the circle. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. With a little baby hook. 
I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The fans in the arena are going mad. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee, baby. The Tigers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brady's on fire. Top of the circle. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Jump hook from the low block. Can't get the shot to drop. And in and out. The shot from the baseline. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. There's the trap. And they get the turnover. Working it around the perimeter. He takes a three. He drains it. Looking for a good shot. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He hits the shot. Dump it inside. Tries to get the D to bite. Move it into the front court. Set that screen away. He shows the sweet touch. Gave it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Three ball, scorches the net. Let me hear you say replay, baby. <laughs> Tries for two, in and out. There's the fake. Pushing up basketball. Blocks the shot. Ten seconds to put it up. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. From right at the circle, makes it. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Oh yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. On the inside, looking for the foul. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Puts up the tray. He gets the shot to fall. Right. 
three. Got it. Watch the replay coming up. shoots from the top of the circle. The Tigers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Now work it around the arc. And he'll kick it back outside. He launches a three. Dickey's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. A double team. Look at that space. Top of the circle. Sinks it. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets another shot off and in. And this show is about to start, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. And have it stolen away. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the bucket, can't get the shot to go. He buries the shot. Long down court pass. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. And a momentary look from three-point land. I can't hear myself think. This arena is deafening. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee, baby. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Nick, you look back, it was a great matchup. We expected it to be, and it turned out to be everything we'd hoped for. Yeah, they really are. you got to play as a unit. It's all about the team. That's what gets you to the winner's circle. Tennessee wins with a gaping margin of victory tonight. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.